Hello everybody, JCSB here, and you guys, it is finally time. Today is my 50th Let's Play episode. Now this is a really big deal to me. I am extremely excited about this episode. 50 episodes, you guys, we have come quite a long way. <laughs> so, I am extremely excited. Thanks for hanging with me for this long, it's been quite a while. Anyways, I'm at my original first base here. This is where I spent the first couple of nights, the first couple of episodes. And you might be wondering why am I here? Well, as many of you know, I'm going to be releasing the seed to this world here on this video. It's going to be in the description, so you can check that out uh, whenever you want. But I thought I should give you guys the coordinates of all my houses, because... Uh, this house obviously is hidden away a bit behind this mountain, and it's a kind of a difficult journey from the spawn point to here. So I thought I'd give you guys the coordinates, and then basically give you a tour of all my house. Just so you know along the way I've been trying to collect red flowers, and I'll get to that later. Okay, so now my first house here is up against the wall of this, the face of this cliff here. So I'm going to give you the coordinates of right in front of the cliff. Ready? Here you go. Might want to watch in HD and full screen so you can see that. X is negative 111, Z is 16. I'll leave that up there for a few more seconds. I'm sure you can pause the video if you want to. All right, so uh, this is my first base. What I did from here was I just had a mine shaft going down, and I built a tower up at the top of the cliff. So next, if we're facing away from the cliff, I walk forward here for a bit, and as you can see, I have used some torches to mark my way. But basically what I did was I walked forward out to the coast, out to where there was some sand and water, and that's how I make my journey to my second house. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of random things. I don't have anything to do with Minecraft. Uh, today, I went and saw Cowboys and Aliens. Really good movie, you guys. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go and check it out. Uh, it was pretty action-packed. It was, needless to say, it was awesome. <laughs> the aliens were really cool in it, and uh, I don't know. It was just exciting. A lot of fun. It kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I won't spoil it anymore for you guys. I would suggest you go check it out, though. Also today, I've been a bit... Uh, I've been staying at home, I've been watching TV, I didn't have much time to play in this world because the X Games were on, and for those of you who don't know what the X Games are, it's the action sports event here, the competitions for all the action sports, uh, that would be skateboarding, BMX, uh, they have winter X Games, which is snowboarding, but this was summer X Games, so it was just like dirt bikes, and it, uh, I've just basically been watching that all day, and it's been a really exciting. Uh, for those of you who have never checked the videos that I favorite, I favorite a lot of skateboard videos. I actually, uh, skateboarding is my other hobby outside of doing YouTube videos here. So, uh, it was pretty exciting to watch a whole bunch of pros skate. Uh, it was cool. Nigel Houston won the street competition, and Sean White won the vert. So, <laughs> I was thrilled. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so anyways, as you can see here, we crossed this little bay, this little ocean, and now I'm going to give you the coordinates to my next house here. Real quick before I do that, uh, I'm going to take a little nap here. That way it's not too dark for you guys, that way you can see everything. And I'll explain this base a bit more. So this is my second base here. I moved here, obviously, after I lived at the first one, but this was more of a permanent base. I spent quite a while here. Anyways, this uh, base is also started at the face of a cliff. I built this house, this wooden house here, coming out of it, but I'm going to give you the coordinates just to this land here. There's just this flat area of land here that I decided to build on, and here are the coordinates. X is 22, Z is 340. So, uh, this is right around the area. Here's the hill here. And this is basically where I made all of my farms, my tree farm, my cactus farm, my two mushroom farms, my boat dock, my nice fountain, and, you know, yeah. So this is where we spent quite a lot of time. I can actually see some mobs up in the 
mob spawners, so I'm gonna go see what kind they are. There's some skeletons. I'd love to get some arrows. Ooh, they're creepers. Well, who doesn't like to watch creepers die? <laughs> uh oh, we finished up the birthday cake. <laughs> All right, nice gunpowder. So yeah, this was eat those slabs mob grinder. I built this after being at the space for quite a while. I uh, never really lit up any case, so it wasn't too efficient. But anyways, so now you know the coordinates of my first two bases. And I'm going to show you how we get to my last base, the one that I've been hanging out. So over here is this ocean. And basically, the ocean goes on for quite a while. And out in the middle, you'll see my underground house. But rather than taking a boat over there, what I did was I dug under the ocean a little 3x3 three three tunnel. And then we installed a mine cart track that took us along there. And I hear a zombie dying. That's not strange at all. <laughs> okay. So, a couple of little uh, random topics here. Uh, both of these people probably don't watch my videos, but I wanted to congratulate the Calmere on hitting a thousand subscribers. Uh, if you're watching this video, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. It's really cool. And also, Chimney Swift 11, I'm sure most of you know him. Uh, today, his first video was posted on Machinima Realm, and that's just epic, so congrats on that, Chimney. Alright, so basically, I have been collecting red flowers, uh, because I want to build something kind of special here. Something to celebrate 50 videos. Now, I do have a celebration video that I have already recorded, uh, that'll be posted shortly after this one. But I kind of wanted to build my own thing. The celebration thing, when you see it, uh, Steinar set up something pretty cool on the server. Uh, it was a surprise to me. I had no clue that it was there. And, you know, uh, that was really nice of him. But I also wanted to do a little bit of a celebration of my own. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Grab some wool. I'm not quite sure exactly how much red wool we're going to need, but I'll make a bunch. Uh, red wool is probably my favorite color wool, so... Uh, there's no reason not to grab a lot of it. I'm sure a stack will be plenty, though. So I think I'll just grab one stack. All right, there we go. Put the rest of this wool away. Put the red rose dye away, I guess you would call it. Okay, seeds, cacti, bones, gunpowder... Where's leather? Leather. Ah, flowers. They go back in the wool here. Okay. So, now what we are going to do is we're going to go build something up in the surface of the water. What I was planning on doing, or what I'm trying, going to try to do here, I'm going to try to make, uh, write out the number 50 with an exclamation point out on the surface of the water. I'm going to build a little platform, and I'm going to try and, you know, spell 50, see if I can make the letters, or the numbers, excuse me, look right. So I think over here would be a pretty cool area. I'm not sure if I wanted to face the house or the farms. I think I wanted to face the farms, because when I'm in the house, I won't really be able to see it very well. But when I'm over at the farms, I'll be able to see it. So basically what I'm going to do here, uh, this might get dark for a sec, I want to build up a platform here, but wow, this is extremely pitch black okay so I'm gonna expand out on this platform a bit I want it to be three wide because I want the numbers to go across in the middle row and I have no clue how long it needs to be yet now mind you before anybody says something I don't do uh, these kinds of things a lot where I actually write out numbers so if it's terrible, uh, just know that I'm not planning on it being awesome. You know, not usually very good at these. But I'm going to give it my best go, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'm going to build this platform out a bit here. Uh, eventually, I might change the platform to cobblestone or something, make it look nice, maybe put some glowstone around it. But for now, I just kind of want to get it done. 
So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I'm gonna. This is gonna be obviously the uh, what you call it, the five itself. So I'm not sure how I'm really supposed to proportion this, but I do want it to be large enough so that you know it looks really nice. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that should be all right. As I said, you guys, not the best in the world at these things. I don't regularly practice them like I'm sure some people might. All right, probably should go up one more. One, two, three, four. All right, that's my first attempt at a five. I'm sure it'll have to be changed up. Oh, it actually doesn't look terrible in my opinion uh, but a couple things do need to change for sure for starters I think this should extend oops can't do it while I'm moving here uh, I think hmm I'm thinking that this should extend a bit here hmm do shears pull up the wool faster oh wow they do <laughs> Good thing I've got shears on me. I can just tear through this wool. Okay. So, now, why aren't I moving forward? Okay. Also, that block needs to be removed. Just like that. And I need to add a block up there. So, in order to do that, I'm going to have to grab out some dirt. And right there okay so let's see if this looks any better hmm not too bad I'm not liking having these corner pieces missing I think it looks good here that one should be missing this one shouldn't be hmm yeah, I'm still not 100% positive. If I, if I fill in both corner pieces there, I think it's going to look too much like an S. How does it look if I fill in this one? Uh, it's just bugging me having one missing, but I know it's going to look like an S if I fill it in. Uh, I guess it doesn't look too bad. I guess it would look more like an X if I had another block sticking down there. Eh, it doesn't look terrible. I guess I'll keep it. So the next thing I need to keep in mind is how many across I went here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I went six across. So I'm going to need some more room here. Just fill this all in with dirt. Okay, so I'm going to start this here. So basically now, we need to take it up really high here. Oops, where is that? So I should be one block below that. Yep. Okay, now this has to go over here. Now, did I say six across? I think I did. So one, two, three, four, five. And then six. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> So one, two, three, four, five, and then six goes here. Let's see if we can do this. All right, so let's see how that looks. Hmm. Kind of looks like it says so instead of 50. <laughs> All right, well. Let's go take a nap because it's going to get dark. You guys can't really see when I'm underwater in the first place. So it's probably a good idea to get a new day cycle going. And then uh, we'll put the last finishing touches here. So this part will be sped up. I'm just going to go to sleep. All right, you guys, we're back here. So, 
to me looks kind of like so kind of like 50 what do you guys think oh man yeah like I told you I'm not <laughs> I'm not very good at this so let's see I think for now uh, I don't know what to do about this piece okay well here's your opportunity to help me out I'm gonna leave this like this for now and I'm gonna work on the exclamation point but you guys need to tell me what I can do to make this look nicer in fact if you want hint hint you can leave a video response writing out 50 in red wool and I will pick the best one and I will go with their design and I will say who did the design and I will you know give you a shout out for it so if you're up to leave a video response helping me with my 50 uh, well leave it in the comments <laughs> so what are we gonna do about this exclamation point hmm I feel like it needs to be a little bit <laughs> wider here I guess wow let me guess that's what she said or something like that <laughs> okay so let's see how this looks fill this part in with dirt I'm sure too wide doesn't look very good but hey it's worth a try alright guys well I hope you have enjoyed episode 50 if you did and you're excited for 50 episodes uh, leave me a comment <laughs> saying something like that or hit the thumbs up button it helps out a lot and I hope you guys have enjoyed for now, there's our 50. Definitely has room for improvement. So, guys, leave those video responses. Other than that, enjoy the seed, and feel free to ask me if you want to know the coordinates to anything. All right, guys, have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.